Good morning and welcome to your science review with Mr. Blades. Now this is going to be the first video in my series of physics videos and today I want to start off by going over some of the units and symbols that we'll be using in your physics class. All right. As you can see behind me, I've already got them written up here. We have mass, distance, speed, and acceleration. That will get us through most of the first semester. Now, mass is measured in kilograms. Kilograms. That is usually symbolized by kg. All right. Distance is measured in units of meters, symbolized by a lowercase m. Speed is measured in meters per second, or symbolized by m divided by s. And last, acceleration is measured in meters per second per second or symbolized with a meters per second squared. That is pretty much the units that we will be using through most of the first semester. Okay, now that we've gone over our units, let's go over some of the symbols we'll be using for some of the common terms that we use in our class. Now, distance and position. Now those are similar terms, but they're not quite the same. Distance will be measured in meters. Likewise, position is measured in meters. However, distance is symbolized by a lowercase d, while position is symbolized by an x. Now, speed and velocity are both measured in meters per second, like we discussed a second ago. But speed is symbolized by a lowercase s, while velocity is a lowercase v. And lastly, acceleration, like we discussed already, is meters per second squared and is symbolized by a lowercase a. Now, the only strange one here is this word right here, change. Now, in engineering and in physics, change has a very particular symbol and its own name. It will be symbolized by a triangle, which is the Greek letter delta. All right, and sometimes it will be referred to as the word delta. Now, if you have any trouble later on in the year knowing your units or your symbols, please refer back to this video, and I'll see you in class.